you are welcome back. Uh, if you are just joining us, this is the polity, and we are discussing uh, the Gongola People's Forum rebuttal declaration and the reactions that trailed it, as well as the pushbacks. Um, with me in the studio is a uh, uh, Reverend Dr. James Muya. He is the national president of United Pastors Initiat Initiative for Good Governance. Uh, let me ask you, Muya. Incidentally, you are from Adamawa State. Yes. Um, Nigeria is a very, very complex uh, society. It is multifaceted, multicultural, you know, and multi everything you can think of. There is this uh, umbrella organization of uh, ethnic nationalities that are called, that is called Bongola People's Forum. And they they converge on Yola, the Adama State capital, on the 29th of um, June, 2024. And they rose from that meeting with a declaration, tagged Rebadu Declaration. Tell me from what you've been monitoring, what is it all about? Well, uh, from the first day, I, 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 I started following about Gongola People's Forum. And... Uh, the first thing that it brought my attention to it was the fact that some people were coming up to say so many things about it. But when I sat down and I followed the purpose for the for the for the for the forum and the kind of minds they put together to bring out the forum, I haven't seen anything wrong with it. So I look at it as another avenue to unite people together, to in order to to, 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 as they said, to reward excellence. And I've seen it as another way to help in, to make our politicians and uh, our public office holders to feel that they are recognized. So I can't say what others were saying, that it's, 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 it's another wrong way to, to, to bring people together because there are a lot of benefit in bringing them together in this Gongola People's Forum. Because the name in itself, at least we can see, it's not something that has to do with a, a state. It's something that has to do with a region. A lot of states are involved. So a lot of people in those regions are there to feel the impact of their people. Well, viewers, uh, my producer will soon display our telephone line so that you can uh, call the line, it will be displayed on your screen, there it is. Uh, you can call so that you can participate by, uh, by, by, by making the program conversational. Let me ask you earlier, you, you did mention the name of Gongola. I know that Gongola is a river that forms a confluence with uh, River Benue, precisely at Numan. And uh, why the choice of the name Gongola, not Adama? From your own perspective. From my own perspective, uh the choice of the name Gongola, it's uh, because from the beginning, the Gongola, it's not the, the, the organization or the forum, rather, it's not about just the Adama, because the name Adama has already been centered on a particular geopolitical uh, 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 zone. So it has already been centered as a state. So when you mention the name Adama, you give the name Adama, people's mind will center on a particular state. And while the aim is to unite the entire people of the region that formed Gongola. So I think that's that's the, the main reason why they have to choose the name Gongola. Because the name Gongola, at, uh, it, it's, a, it's a huge name. Much more than than the, the, the center, Adama itself. Because Adama, even though Adama means much more than what it is as a state, but Gongola covers more. I think that's the reason why they have to choose the name Gongola. You know, uh, how from the, 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 the people that, that uh, gathered, particularly the notable personalities that were invited, do you see inclusivity? Because there is a lot of pushback and reactions. Yeah, yeah. you know, <clears throat> uh, let me uh, uh, digress a little. You know, when you have a group like this forum, there are a lot of people that have in their mind others that they prefer to be recognized. And uh, 
And such people are not ready to bring themselves into the forum or into the group. For instance, when we started United Pastors Initiative for Good Governance, so many pastors around this country said, why didn't we invite so-so pastor? Why didn't we notify so-so pastor? Why didn't we notify so-so bishop? But we said, that is not what we are all about. We are all about every person in this region, in the, in the whole country, it's involved and is invited. But we cannot approach you directly. We have to ask you, we have to see your interests. If somebody noticed that you are a person that needs to be there, fine. Then he brings us, bring you in. That's why I said some of the people that were saying things like this were people that look at their preferred candidate or their preferred politicians or their preferred rulers. Their choice rulers were not invited. So that's the reason why they were just saying so many things about it. But for me, I look at it as a fair thing for them to form up together. Anyone within that region, it's allowed to come in and involve yourself in it. You are not excluded. I don't think somebody in particular is excluded in, within the region. Everybody is part of it. As long as you are part of Gongola, you are part of it. Except if you want a special invitation or maybe a kind of a, 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 a other preference means of approaching you or you want to be approached the way others were approached, that's the only difference. But as far as you are, you are part of Gongola, you are a member. Come in. What in your view makes someone a part of Gongola? Is it, does it have to do with geographical location or is it an ideology? Well, initially I had some people say it's a geographical location. But from, from the dreams, I can say the idea that brought the, the gave birth to Gongola People's Forum, it's it's a kind of an idea if you have the same mind like us to do what we want to do you are part of gongola okay that's what i believe so it's ideologically based ideologically based and that's it, what i believe i've listened to people who say it's also a fight for emancipation so i want to ask emancipation from what <laughs> well uh, well a lot of things are coming up you know i believe in the so why did you why did you chuckle after her well, because person? because when, when you say it, you want to do things like this and uh, you have your, your 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 goals and you come up with it i believe there are a lot of things that will come up you have things to achieve and if that is what they want to achieve at least they will spell out which i believe People are not aware of what they want to do, or how they want to want to achieve that, and how they want to bring out the people from such things that they say they want to do. I think they will come up with time to explain. I know from now to the end of this year, they will clearly state why they want to bring out people from, or what they want to liberate people from, whatever they want to do. They will clearly state out because this is just it's too early to start saying so many things about the organization. The forum is too is too is too, is too is too early to start start talking about it too much like this. But to me, it's a big one because as early as it is, so many things were coming up, so many fire been ignited. So I'd like people are like I had somebody say that it's late on arrival that it will die, that if so 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 uh, uh, organization northern uh, uh, um, uh, northern elders forum uh, uh, can go off, this one will also go off. I said, okay, let's wait and see. For the fact that other group did not survive, doesn't mean that this one will not survive. It depends on the idea. It depends on the goals and the vision, the dreams they have for this particular group. So I, I can't see anything wrong with with, uh, with us wait and see the achievement of this group. Okay, well, uh, there is so much uh, heat being generated, like you rightly said, a lot of fire going on, fireworks going on against this uh, uh, battle declaration by Gongola People's Forum. Now there are so many, you know, social cultural organizations in Nigeria, yes. and nobody has any eyebrow against what they what they do. That brings to mind activities of Ohanese Indigo, uh, Arawa People's Forum, the one you mentioned, uh, Femi Fere, uh, Capital 
capital Polaco, you know, and so many of them like that. Why is that of Gondola People's Forum generation so much heat? I I can say that there are a lot of things sometimes that when people have interest in them, when we have multiple interests and uh, and you are not part of or you are not benefiting from what is coming up you will come you will see somebody will just come up against it now for instance most of the people that are making those comments and are kicking against it are igniting the fire where people that supposed to be part of this mm. and if somebody will rise against something for like for for uh, Honeze or Afenefere but maybe from the other region from the other acts people will start talking against it or whatever mm. but look at it look at uh, um, Mieti Allah group most of the people talking about it they are not part of Mieti Allah okay. but but look at this one it people within igniting fire kicking against it saying a lot of things about it so it's about the interest perhaps the interest in this group it's not given as expected hmm. maybe maybe they expected some people to be recognized and perhaps they have contacted the people and the people are not recognized as expected so it's cause for fire okay so things like this can come up so i i, I believe that's that's what i think okay we're going, to, we're going to take a short break when we return the quality continues in a moment please stay with us you're welcome back if you're just joining us my name is macaulay Bunohashi, and this is the polity uh still with me in the studio is uh reverend dr james muya the national president of uh, united pastors initiative for good governance uh the declaration in other mass state the likes of uh Usini, uh mutfang of uh of uh, Plateau State and the governor of Taraba State were, were invited, as well as General Garahu gave the key not uh, address. Um, people, some people have taken a swipe against the likes of Boss Mustafa for attending. Should they not attend it? Well, I, I, I don't know why things like this will come up in the first place. Uh, this thing is declared in Adama and uh, boss mustafa is a key stakeholder in adama and the the the, the forum is meant for people within his region and of the person as he is i don't know why he, they should expect him not to come in fact he is one of the people that in the should be in the forefront in attending so i don't know why they they, they make all these kind of comments and uh, they feel that he shouldn't come. Uh, it's not a kind of a, a cultist that's far away from that should be absent from or should not be be part of it. I don't know if those people that were saying these things were supposed to be with him or against him mm. or with the group or against the group for making such kind of it doesn't it baseless. It doesn't make sense. I can see nothing wrong with him coming to the to the, to the uh, inauguration at least it's 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 okay i don't know what are their reasons but to me it doesn't make sense for them to make such comments okay hold on we have a caller oh we've lost that caller now adaba state was the host state uh Rubado square was the venue akuka of ukari was the real father of the day uh what would have told that because the event took place within the memory of Adama's domain, Amen. he would have been made the real father of the day, but that uh, such did not happen. And many people received as a gang up against a certain ethnic uh, nationality. Do you share that view? Well, I, 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 I don't share that view uh, because things like this, you don't know how far they've gone. 
you don't know whether they have made contact with Lamido of Adama or not. You don't know what was his rep if they have what his response was, how many people they have contacted. You know, in making a group or creating a group of such, you cannot put a limit to how far they've gone. I have done this before and uh, I have gone a lot and so many people thought where they saw us was where we went. No. We've gone so far as much that have accepted us, we started with them and we begin to grow. Those that rejected us from the beginning came back to come with us, to join us. So you don't know how far they've gone to meet others that you think they should be there, that they are not there. So you've not made your research well, you've not gone to the people to find out what, what happened, how it happened, are they aware of such things? You've not made it, you just have a kind of a, a kind of a shallow view and say that these people are supposed to be here, he's not here, why he's not here, it, it doesn't make sense. So do, you, so do you believe it's a gang up? Do you believe in a gang up? I, be, I don't believe in a gang up. Uh, in the first place, if you want to gang up, you won't generalize the entire region. You will separate yourself, those people in those other particular groups, then begin to gang up and know how you tackle the gang up. But it's something that anybody, I say is not a gang up because no one come or no one has come in and was rejected. So if it's a gang up, they will prepare to reject as much as are not part of the clique mm -hmm. of the gang up. So as long as it's open for everyone, I don't think it's a gang up. Now, Doctor, there are talks that uh, the, the, the uh, Gongola People's Forum Movement uh, has an, uh, the philosophical underpinning of that movement has political undercurrents particularly now that the pendulum is swinging towards 2027 general election, especially in Adama State. What do you think? Well, I, as it is, you know, there are a lot of articles written about this, and uh, some of them say it, 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 it's a foundation for, for, for kind of political, um, political building. It's a, so many things. But, but there is no social cultural or social political organization that does not consider politics at the end of it the politics is itself is for the people and people are there to work with the politics itself so without whether it's for the politics for the election for whatever it is what we want is a positive outcome that's all if it is for that, I don't know. I can't tell for them. But what I know is that the group is meant for the good of the people to help the politics move in its direction, help even the traditional law in everywhere. I don't think there's anything like uh, whether it is centered in order to, 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 to make other people to disadvantage others. Or to, no, it's something that is going to promote even the politics itself. So there's nothing wrong with it i can't see anything wrong in promoting politics with any social cultural or social political whatever group it's okay that's what they are meant for look at all the social cultural groups or an easy whatever when it comes to politics they come out to speak when it comes to politics they declare their support so that's what it is it's when you say it's for politics i don't see anything wrong with it so for the election nothing wrong with it because the purpose and the aim is that to make sure that we have the right person to lead our people that's all now let's talk about your own organization you are the president of our uh, uh, pastors united pastors initiative for good good governance yes when did you establish that um how far have you gone in, in uh, you know uh lending your voice towards fostering peace and coexistence in this country yeah it started since 2016 and uh, we 
2018, we 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 made it uh, official, and uh, we start the programs by calling on people to to come and uh, embrace peace. In 2020, we incorporate it proper and uh, objective, but most of our programs has been going on we called for people we had over 20 different uh press conferences we had international press conferences we have host award for governors that are that have performed well especially when we went to see uh the, the then governor of uh, of katsina state uh, 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 Bellum, uh, sorry. We, we, we were there and we really he was happy that a, a group like this come all the way to come and see him and give him a word for doing what is right so many people on papers came up to say that uh, why a pastor based Christian based organization will go and leave all the other Christian governors and go to, to the Northwest. Where we told them, we reply on paper. We said, this man has done more for the Christian in his state than other people, even some Christian, Christian uh, governors. He has several Christians in his cabinet in Katsina. Mm. He has two AC. Christian AC in Katsina. He has provision for, 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 for pastors and, and churches. And you tell us that we don't know what we're doing. We went there, we gave him. In fact, they call him then, they call him a Christian Christa then mm. because of how much he has done. What does that mean? That means a friend of a Christian. Okay, okay. So we said this man deserves an award. And we went there. We gave him an award he was happy and that's where we are so we came back we've been doing a lot of things we had a press conference addressing politicians especially when there were these uh, answers and things like this we came out during this Deborah uh, uh, killing in Sokoto we came out to make a present when there were troubles around in the country during the bandits issue we came out we met. We, we we had press conference, two press conferences on bandit issue, banditry issues. We had press conferences also on the the, the issue of uh, the answers too, on different uh, occasion. We have been appearing on TV. We had programs that have been appearing on TV to to present to make a, a kind of a, a, a huge uh, a peace call programs. We have done a lot of things. Okay. We make an impact in the country since. 2000, uh, 2000 to 2013. Well, uh, we want to apologize to our numerous viewers and uh, those who wanted to call uh, for the technical glitches that has made it um, difficult for them to call in. We also apologize most profoundly to Dr. John Gamsa, who has been standing by in Yola to join us via, via Skype. He couldn't do it because of the technical glitch we're having that has to do with uh, an uh, epileptic network uh, in the country. And uh, in the studio, I have to thank uh, Reverend Dr. James Muya, uh, President of our United Pastors Initiative for Good Governance, for joining me in the studio. Well, there was that the size of our package to th this afternoon. I thank you most uh, profoundly for finding time to be a part of the show. My name is Macaulay Onohashi saying bye-bye and thank you for being here.